Hello guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we've brought some new materials. You can call them e-waste as well. These items are found in the same tower we showed you in our previous video. Inside these components, there's a circuit which we've already removed. So, let's get started with the process. First, we'll place everything inside this container and arrange it properly. Then, we'll pour in nitric acid. Now, remember, we won't add any water. The reason is, this material is extremely powerful. It contains iron coated with a layer of gold. So, instead of water, we'll add the acid directly to make the reaction stronger. and add HF acid. Next, we'll light a fire underneath the container so that the process begins quickly. As you can see, the reaction has started. The acid is boiling and the fumes are rising. Be careful though, this smoke is extremely toxic. Always keep some fire nearby so the fumes go upward instead of spreading around and make sure you're wearing a mask and gloves, because this gas is very dangerous. After about half an hour, we'll add some water and refresh the acid. We'll pour out the used acid and add a new batch. You'll need to repeat this process around five to six times, depending on the material you're using. Continue this until you start seeing the gold. Next, we'll filter the acid using a mesh screen and wash the remaining parts thoroughly. Once cleaned, we'll pour nitric acid again. We've placed a cloth over the mesh to catch any small gold particles so that nothing is lost. We'll pour in the nitric acid once again and set it properly, and add HF acid. This one is extremely powerful and can completely dissolve the iron. Let's close the lid and make sure to keep the fire going. The flame helps the fumes rise straight upward. First, we'll add water and then carefully drain it. We've already repeated this process about six times. We didn't show every step on camera. After six rounds, all the metal, brass, copper, and iron has been dissolved.
though a little iron still remains. So now we'll transfer everything into a smaller container. As you can see, a very fine layer of gold has started to appear. A lot of it, actually. We'll wash it thoroughly, then pour nitric acid again and light a fire underneath. Here's the nitric acid. We're adding it directly without any water because we want a strong reaction. Once again, we'll light the fire below and add a bit of HF acid. Now, the gold collected in the cloth will also be washed carefully so that the acid's effect is neutralized. After washing, only pure gold will remain. Next, we'll use a magnet. If there's still any iron left, we'll remove it and put it back into the acid so that any remaining gold can be extracted from it. The nitric acid has started reacting again, and our process is almost complete. We'll pass the magnet through once more just to make sure there's no iron left. Then, we'll pour out the remaining acid and wash everything clean. We won't use mercury in this step. The gold we've extracted is already in large quantity, and mercury doesn't work well with big pieces. So instead, we'll directly melt the gold by applying fire. Once it starts to melt, we'll transfer small portions into this iron bowl and continue heating until it all turns molten. Now, some people ask us in the comments, how can we learn this process? Or, what kind of acid and powder do you use? Well, we've explained everything in this video. We always recommend watching the video completely. Don't skip parts. If you skip, you'll miss crucial steps and might lose a lot of gold during your own process. Let me name the acids for you. The first one we use is nitric acid. The second one, which boosts the first reaction, is HF acid. The white powder we sprinkle afterward is washing soda, not washing powder. It removes the oily residue, but in today's process, we didn't need it. Now, we're melting the gold slowly, adding it bit by bit into this clay pot. We'll keep doing this until it's fully melted. At the end, we'll show you exactly how much gold we recovered. But before that, tell us your guesses in the comments. How much gold do you think we've extracted this time? Some people watch the videos but don't subscribe to the channel or share them. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It really supports us and keeps us motivated to make more content for you. Many people also ask, where do you get these items from? Well, we simply go to any scrap warehouse where you can find plenty of electronic waste, e-waste. You can do the same. Visit a local scrapyard in your area, buy old electronic Some people comment and that we don't always wear masks yourself. or gloves properly. Let me explain. We only wear them when necessary. When we pour the acid, we always move away from the setup until the reaction finishes. Once the acid effect is over, then we continue working. That's why sometimes you see us without masks or gloves. It's completely safe at that point. A few viewers also say that you shouldn't touch mercury with your hands. Actually, the mercury we use here is not the same toxic type most people think of. You can handle it safely. It's not harmful in this form.
Now, as you can see, only a small portion of gold remains. We'll completely melt it down and form it into a small gold bar. And yes, we'll show you that too. And here it is, our pure 24 karat gold, completely refined with no impurities at all. It looks absolutely beautiful, shiny, bright, and 100% real. There's a bit of dark residue left on top, but don't worry, we'll clean that later. You can see how much gold we've recovered. It's a great amount. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.